Welcome to the LatinFlyer.com travel update. I'm Mark Chestnut, here to help you figure out the best way to make the most out of your travel around Latin America. And you know, an important topic I think this week should be Colombia, specifically Cartagena. It's making, been making a lot of news lately, and for some not totally positive reasons, perhaps, because of the whole Secret Service scandal with the prostitution ring. What you really need to know is that, obviously, there are a lot of amazing reasons to go to Cartagena beyond what you've been hearing in the news lately. So uh, there's some beautiful hotels. It's a beautiful historic city with a beautiful historic center. If you know Old San Juan in San Juan, Puerto Rico, if you know the Zona Colonial, the colonial zone in Santo Domingo, or if you've been to Casco Antiguo in, in Panama City, Panama, it has something in common with all of those places, but even more hotels, a larger number of really cool boutique-style hotels. You have the Charleston Santa, Santa Teresa, which is set in a former um, convent. You have the Sofitel Santa Clara, which is also a historic religious building, that's now a luxury hotel, and the Cherasi Hotel and Spa, which is a really, really beautiful designer hotel created by a designer, you guessed it. If you want more information, you can go to latinflyer.com, and at the top, all you have to do is click where it says Colombia for the Colombia section, scroll on down, you'll find lots of details, or you can just go to the search box and just enter the words Cartagena. Definitely keep Cartagena in mind, but not just for the reasons that you've been hearing lately. Now on to the question of the week. This comes from one of Latin Flyer's viewers in New Jersey, and it involves the destination called Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, which is one of the top-selling coastal beach destinations in the nation of Mexico. Um, the person who wrote wanted to know if there are some good family-friendly activities and reasons to go to Puerto Vallarta, and of course there are many. Puerto Vallarta has tons of things to do, tons of attractions for, um, for just about any age, basically. Um, for families, depending on the age of the kids, you can uh, get a lot of uh, fun action in there. You can stay, choose one of the all-inclusive hotels, especially the ones that have the children's programs are really good, especially for younger children or up through the teens. Um, for slightly older kids, and also for the more adventurous types of families, uh, definitely be sure to head off the property. You're going to want to in engage in some of the exciting stuff uh, like zip lining, uh, perhaps even flying to nearby um, historic towns in, in tiny planes, going snorkeling and on, on cruises in the bay. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. You can find some information about hotels and travel to Puerto Vallarta on latinflyer.com. Uh, just click on the Mexico section or search for Puerto Vallarta. Let me know whenever you have any questions or tips or comments about any destination in Latin America. That includes Mexico, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. And I'll do my best to answer and also share your own advice with your fellow travelers. So thanks so much for tuning in. Keep in touch, send me your comments and questions, and be sure to subscribe to latinflyer.com to get the most out of your travel in Latin America. I'm Mark Chestnut, and have a good one.